Okay, so welcome back to No Winning. Um, today we have kind of not an install, but more of like a fix. Um, the car's been kind of sitting in this position that it's in right now for, I don't know, maybe like two weeks or so. Um, driving home one day, clutch gave out. I think I talked about it in another video. Um, this little pin, which I'll show you in a little bit, popped out. And I ordered the part, so I finally have the part in, which is right here. Um, the only bad part is, um, I've never done it before, so I don't even know if it's gonna work. So let me show you what popped out and let me see what I can do to get it fixed so we can actually get the car rolling so we can get some more installs on it. Okay, so now looking at the car, we took off the intercooler. Um, we had to pop off the starter. So this is just being held on by this bolt, which I can take off really quickly. Okay, put this here somewhere. Starter pops off, okay. I don't know if you can see that window right there. Well, that there was no blocking pin there, so now or knocking button there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lock it up. Um, that's what I ordered. This pin that holds this fork in place popped out, so I was not able to even hit my clutch in. So, or I would press on the clutch and it just wouldn't pop back up. So that was the issue. So now let me put that button on and um, let's see if this fixes the issue. Okay, this is what they sent. I got it from this Oko's Automotive. Not sponsored by the way, but if you see this and you want to sponsor me, then hook it up. Uh, business card, yeah, a little air freshener, and then the button. That's the part number. That's the button right there. Hopefully it's the right one. Another sticker, two bucks. So let's see if this is gonna fit over here. I'm trying to figure out to see if I have the right tool. This is... 3 C, yep, it looks like that's what will turn it. So let me get the camera set up so I can put it on and then go on there and turn on the, put on the starter. Let me see if I can put this on, on its own, without cross threading it like I've done in the past. Boom, you can see it right there. Right there, perfect. Threads on smoothly. And that's about it. That should be the fix. Let's give it a little tight tightening and see if it actually holds my clutch in face and then put the starter back on in the intercooler and then we'll be actually ready to start the car. That should be good. Now let me get the starter back on. The starter only has two bolts. One that goes up here, the one that I took off right here earlier and then the one at the bottom and I'll show you a view of that. Once I get those two on, I'll drop the car and put the intercooler back on, which we all know is going to be a straight up struggle. I think this one was like a 19 millimeter or 16 millimeter. Um, I honestly don't think it was the correct one, but I'm going to go with it anyway. Because it was working before and it's got to work now. So the other one is actually down here on this side. And then um, once we get that going, then uh, I'll get a view on the bottom. All right, so I finally got to the starter installed. I put that little button back on. Um, I dropped the car already. So now comes the part that I hate the most. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this on my own. So this might be, I might have to call in a super extra specialist um, to get it done. But uh, it's basically the top of my intercooler. And I had a lot of trouble putting it on, as you might have seen in one of the other videos. So let's see how many tries it takes me. I think the last time it was like 10 tries to get this intercooler on. But um, I think I can get it done in three tries because I have no distractions right now. So let's see if I can get it done. And if I can't, uh, I'll record all the struggling through the whole process. So let me set up the camera and have fun watching this. Yeah. All right, so we're back. Um, actually, with bad news, 
Um, I had to re put the intercooler on, bolted everything up, tested it out, make sure everything was working and go to turn on the car. The car doesn't turn on because the clutch gave out again. Um, after further review, um, it looks like maybe the throw bearing or I don't know what, but this sheared off, this broke off. So what should have been an easy fix turned into a new nightmare. Um, now we know why we call this channel no winning because it almost seems that we can never really get a win. Um, usually everything we do here is always difficult. So I'm sorry I don't have a real install for you. I'm sorry I couldn't get the car to start, but hopefully this was enjoyable for you as it was not for me. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for uh, more to come. Probably gonna have to go buy, what is it, those engine hoists. Uh, luckily we already have a motor mount. So we can take this out. Now we can finally put on some other things that I've been wanting to do. Now that the engine's gonna be out, um, it's just gonna be sort of a process because I've never done this before. So um, if you if this, is, if this is your first time doing it, then you're gonna learn with us. And, and if not, then maybe you can give us some pointers along the way. Um, but I uh, hope you like this video. So give us a thumbs up because it helps us out. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please hook us up. Uh, we'd greatly appreciate it. And um, yeah, more to come. Now it just seems like a bigger project and a bigger project and a bigger project, never ending. AKA Team No Winning. Woo, thank you for watching.